sawmill friends it's monday the first thing we got to saw here is some more pine i got this squared up we'll go through it pretty fast this is yellow pine i'm cutting it three quarters of an inch thick it's about nine and a half inches on the width and this is sheathing that goes on top of the purlins or rafters whatever you want to call them on the small lean-to side of the new building seems like all this country when i give terminology on what we call stuff here in tennessee somebody always says it's called something different somewhere else now on the sawmill today i'm going to be running a four degree 055 double hardwood miser blade that is without a doubt my favorite blade to saw with it does good on everything i know in the past few videos i've been doing those silver tip blades that i buy off joe main and those things are good as well for pine and for poplar i've not done any really abrasive hardwoods with it but based on what we're going to be sawing today I want that four degree on there if not for the hook angle but more so for the thickness of the blade that 55 thickness stays really flat when you get into abrasive woods and today we got something pretty abrasive to put on the mill we'll throw that on here in just a minute right now we'll finish up this pine and i'm gonna refill my coffee because it's getting low so hang in there with me guys good stuff here today and something going on the sawmill i've never sawed here on this channel i sawed this stuff up about eight or nine years ago and that's the last time i've ever sawed it so, be a good challenge today. Stick here with me. All right, guys, after requesting this for the past five or six years here on this channel, you're finally going to get it, people. Tennessee Hickory. I've gotten so many comments over the years. There's one guy, I can't remember his name, he comments on every live video wanting to see Hickory. So hopefully he sees this one. So we got this the other day at the log yard. I got about a thousand board feet total I hauled back. And man, these things are heavy. This is pretty green. It was harvested just a few weeks ago locally. And other than all the mud on the bark right here, which is kind of aggravating, but that's what the debarker is for, it looks like it's gonna be a good log. The pith is pretty straight on both ends. The diameter is 14 and a half inches. It doesn't vary from end to end, which is good based on what we're gonna be sawing today. And hopefully based on what I'm seeing here, the bark is running really straight here on the outside. And I hand picked all these logs. I wanted the best I could find and we think we're going to be in good shape. There's no deviations right here, and there's not a lot of knots. I went for the first cuts on the hickory logs when I was going through the pile over there. So we're going to be sawing these into axe handle blanks. I was contacted a few weeks ago by some people over at Leon Hoffman's blacksmith shop. If you're not familiar with his work, I'll leave a link down below to his YouTube channel and, and his Instagram and his website. You can go check out some of his stuff. I actually have one of his axes I got from him years ago. My wife got it for me for a Christmas present. He does really good work. I've been a fan of his for a long time, but he contacted me. He's having some trouble getting some good hickory for handles. And I'm going to try to uh, solve that problem for him here. I'm just really not sure how we're going to do it the most productive way because based on an ax handle, you've got to have perfect vertical grain on the end of a handle. I'll try to find some pictures to put up here for you people not familiar with that. And it's kind of like taking a flat sawn board and ripping off the sides and having the perfect vertical grain right there in the middle, which pretty much makes it a quarter sawn board, but it's kind of sideways, it's kind of backwards. So if you put it up on its end, it would be quarter sawn. 
Now we're gonna be sawing these at an inch and five eighths on the thickness and four and a quarter on the width. His finish dimensions that he needs after drying, here's cabbage up here guys, is a four inches by inch and a half. And based on quarter sawn boards, even though these aren't true quarter sawn boards, you gotta watch how stuff dries. Because when you turn this board up and the grain runs perfectly up and down, the tangential plane, which is on the sides, is gonna shrink about an eighth of an inch and the uh, radial plane on the top, what are you trying to do, fight me here? It's, uh, it's gonna shrink about a sixteenth of an inch. So you gotta, you gotta think about all that stuff. He's wanting me to pet him. Pet him to death. You're ruining my little video here, bud. So you gotta think about stuff like that when you start doing these specialty stuff like this. Those wood dries in all kinds of different directions based on the way you cut it. So always remember that if you're quarter sawing boards, regular quarter sawing, the tangential plane is gonna shrink about an eighteenth, uh, eighth of an inch rather, I'm getting all tongue twisted here. And the face of the board, which is the radial plane, won't shrink much at all. So the thickness will shrink a lot, the width not so much. That's why people like quarter sawn boards, because they're so stable. My, my cat shakes like a dog. What you have, shake, shake. We teach our cats tricks here, people. We got the smartest cats in the world. But, uh, but anyways, we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna flat saw about four boards around this after we square it up. And this is some hard wood, guys. That's why we got that four degree blade on there because hickory is just so abrasive. It's stout stuff and my sawmill should be okay with handling it, but we may go through some blade changes if we throw more hickories on here today. I don't know, we'll probably just do this one and I'll sit back and see what the yield is and find out what I wanna do with the rest of them.
right guys, finally on the channel we have some hickory and I'm cutting my head off here. I need to, my, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not little. Jeez. Welcome back to the sawmill friends, it's Monday. Right here on the sawmill guys, we got a white pine, it's yellow pine. I get them mixed up every single time. It's gonna make things better in here, so if you don't care, let me know down below. I think I've said that about three times, over and over the metal tube using this for sheathing instead of buying plywood or any of that else any of that else any of that else any of that else is not even a word my goodness any of that else I'm writing my own dictionary here stand by we'll put this up green and it will shrink a little bit but it will have tar tar it's gonna have tar on it we're gonna get tar and roll down tar on top of this nice wood here everybody does it everybody does it 